All right, everybody, we have three primary colors here. I'm going really fast. And one white. Um, the white is going to get pressed down to look like either a circle or a square. And we're just going to leave it flat. This is going to be our background, okay? See how I'm doing this? All right, and then I'm going to poke a hole in it. That is where we're going to hang um, our little plaque with our initial. So basically, we are making... Um, our first initial, mine happens to be H, Halle. And then I'm gonna show you how we are going to make all the colors of the rainbow. So you ha you'll have choices to um, use when you make your pretty design. All right, so I used um, red, blue, I'm wishing it together really a few times here, there, until it becomes purple. All right, so I've got one color down. I'm going to make my green. So remember, it goes red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So we're going to have all six of these colors available to us to pull from when, um, when this uh, segment is done. All right, so now I'm going to use my orange and red to make, excuse me, red and yellow to make orange. And I'm going to start placing all my colors in order. So it goes purple blue, green, yellow, and now I'm making my orange. And you just mix and mix with your fingers. It's very soft, shouldn't be hard to do. Okay, now, once you have your orange and all of your other colors done, um, I wanted to show you, this is what it's gonna feel like when it's all dry. Right now it's very malleable, and then I just showed you that donut. It's gonna become very hard when it's all said and done. Okay, so now I have all the colors in my rainbow, and I am going to remind you, I don't know if you learned this last year or not, but our ultimate goal is to create um, a initial, okay? And you can pick one color, and you're gonna create your initial out of a coil, okay? A coil is like a long, skinny, um, piece of clay and here I am I'm twisting my coil you can pause it if you need to into a part of my initial I'm also my tool at home is basically a pencil you can use a toothpick we talked about adding texture and now I'm gonna finish up my coil initial all right so this is going to be an H when all is said and done now be careful if you touch the white with any of these colored clays they will stain them so I um, went ahead and I covered that with um, I had a little stain so I covered it with my red H okay now I'm going to use some other colors I'm because I'm an art teacher I think I'm gonna add a rainbow I'm gonna make um, the line there just to show me where that's gonna go. Actually, I'm just adding some coils to my to my background of my letter. And then on the other side, I ended up making a rainbow. Okay. So now you can play around with it. Use your colors to just decorate and you've gotta kind of press them down because once they dry, they will just kind of they'll fall off so you don't want that to happen all right so now i'm going to speed it up So all these colors, I can mix them or I can keep them separate. I'm making little coils. I'm adding some design to it with my little tool. On this one, I'm gonna, I think it's gonna end up being a little flower. So I used a circle and then I added a stem and now I'm adding little bitty pieces of um, yellow to create my flower. And then, um, yeah, so lots of little pieces. All right, if you don't like something with um, clay, you can always just pull it off. All right, and now I'm going to add the little center. So now we know how to make a coil. Coil is going to be our 
a special word for the week. Um, I'm making my rainbow. All right, so on the side here, I, I'm kind of making my rainbow on the side. I'm crunching it together so it'll be an additional little piece there. I already made my little flower. You don't want to cover up that hole because when it dries, it should be um, strong enough to hang up on your wall. We're going to put a little piece of yarn or something through that hole and end up now I'm making my little cloud because I have my rainbow and my flower and I'm making a little scene. If you have extra clay, you're welcome to make a special thing. Um, I don't really care. That's on you. And um, now my thing feels complete. All right. So enjoy this project. We're going to watch it together on Friday the 12th. And... Um, now I'm going to just go ahead and put all these little pieces away. If you're not going to use them right away, make sure you put them back in the plastic bag. I need to let mine dry for at least a week, and then I will show you what we're going to do afterwards on Friday.